Good morning. I'm Dr. Ted Rothstein. Today, I'm going to have a tooth taken out. I'd like to show you the tooth I'm going to have taken out. It's this tooth. Hey. It's movable. It's got periodontal involvement. And so, today, Dr. Michael Zadil, in, down on Montague Street in Brooklyn Heights, Brooklyn, New York, he's going to take out the tooth and he's going to do a, a grafting procedure. He's going to put bone powder into the socket and he's going to then close it over and the bone where the tooth has, was extracted from will heal in. And, and it will serve as the base for an implant that eventually he is going to place. Today also, later on, after the tooth is taken out, here, the tooth has been taken out on the model. And prior to today's surgical work, I had a temporary bridge made. And so later on, today, I'm going to have this bridge placed in the empty space where the tooth has been extracted. I've already taken this morning and yesterday and the day before an antibiotic as a safety precaution. At this point, I'm going to start cleaning this area out a little bit technically. And you can see that where my instrument goes here, there's really complete loss of the bony structure around the tooth through the gum disease. And you see where I press the instrument, there should be bone here in this area, but there is none. Right now I'm going to uh, release this tissue around the, these other teeth to uh, allow me to visualize the periodontal defect. Is it a full set? Yeah, it's a full set. Fully correct this here. I'm going to place a single vertical incision. Out of infection there. And we'll come back to that in a minute. In the infected tissue.
You can appreciate how large the defect is here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I care. Here, here. Okay, we'll come back to this in a minute. Just finishing up uh, scaling the area here. There's some calculus and these A's and P's. Sterile gauze. Okay, and you can appreciate here the size of the, the defect. Really complete loss of the, the buckle plate in these areas here. Ah, that's dry. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll come back. It's actually made of uh, pericardial tissue. And, uh, it's got great handling ability. Really conforms nicely to the area. And I'll cut it and trim it to size so that it. Um, What's the purpose? The purpose is, is to uh, help stabilize the graft and allow for proper healing. So the first so step is to put the graft in? No. The oh. First, I'm going to actually measure it, make sure and fit it, trim it in the area here. And once it's trimmed, I'll position it and then place the graft. Once the graft is in, I'll just kind of wrap it around the uh, graft material. And once again, it's a pericardial tissue. So I've trimmed the membrane to an appropriate size. This area here. And I go ahead and place the graft. Okay. This is the graft material. Uh, Human-derived tissue. And uh, when it gets incorporated into the area that I'm placing it, uh, most of it should turn over into normal living bone. Okay, I'm now uh, placing the graft material into the defect. And I pack it. You can appreciate how there's total loss of bone structure on the cheek side. 